Hi everyone, this is Sarfaraz from Aristotle Prep and we are looking at question 72 from the OG 13 critical reasoning chapter. The stimulus says, in the past, the country of Malvernia has relied heavily on imported oil. Mal Malvernia recently implemented a program to convert heating systems from oil to natural gas. Malvernia currently produces more natural gas each year than it uses, and oil production in Malvernian oil fields is increasing at a steady pace. So see, Malvernia has cut down on its oil consumption, or so it looks like, by shifting the heating systems to natural gas. So apparently it should be using less oil now, and it has enough natural gas in any case to support the heating system. It has a surplus, right? Yeah. So. Um, that's what we've gathered so far. And the argument further says, if these trends in fuel production and usage continue, therefore, Malvernian reliance on foreign sources for fuel is likely to decline soon. So the conclusion is that because Malvernia is cutting down on its use of oil and replacing it with natural gas, soon uh, Malvernia's uh, reliance on uh, uh, imported uh, or foreign sources of uh, fuel uh, will decline. And the question stem says, which of the following would it be most useful to establish in evaluating the argument? So we have to evaluate the argument, whether this will actually happen or not. Whether Malvernia's reliance on foreign sources for fuel will go down or not. One thing that immediately comes to my mind is, uh, if, you, if you think about the argument, the whole thing is based on the assumption that the trends will actually continue. The trends in oil usage uh, and production. But what if something breaks the trend? Uh, then uh, uh, Malvernia still might be reliant on uh, foreign sources uh, for fuel. It's just something that comes to my mind. Uh, but let's see the options and, uh, and, and check. So A says, when, if ever, will production of oil in Malvernia outstrip production of natural gas? How does it make any difference? Why does it even have to outstrip uh, production of natural gas? It doesn't make any difference because the two are being used together. B says, is Malvernia among the countries that rely most on imported oil? Again, it doesn't make any difference. Whether it is among the countries or not, how does it matter to us? C says, what proportion of Malvernia's total energy needs is met by hydroelectric, solar and nuclear power? Again, even if you know the answer to this question, it doesn't help you evaluate whether Malvernia's reliance on foreign sources for fuel will go down or not. So C doesn't help. D says, is the amount of oil used each year in Malvernia for generating electricity and fuel for transportation increasing? Now this looks like a very good option um, because it gives you something or a fact or, an, or, or a new piece of information which basically says that the oil consumption may not actually stay steady, it may actually increase in future in Malvernia. So if the oil consumption increases in future, as this option says, then Malvernia might still be reliant on foreign sources for uh, fuel. A lot of people when they read option D, uh, eliminate it because they think uh, how does generating electricity or transportation come into the picture. But the point is, uh, it actually makes no difference whether it is generating electricity or whether it is for marriage purposes or whether it is for any other purpose, for space exploration. See, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, those two points about electricity and transportation. The important part is the amount of oil used each year is increasing. Used for what makes no difference to us. That is why D should be the answer to this question. E, uh, just for uh, uh, completeness, E says, have any existing oil burning heating systems in Malvernia already been converted to natural gas burning system? Again, makes no difference whether they have been converted or they have not been converted doesn't help us evaluate the argument. D is the only option that helps us evaluate the argument and that should be the answer. On a difficulty scale of 1 to 5, I would give this one a 3.5. Have a nice day.